Hi guys. Charity shop gold or garbage. Went down to Clevedon. Quite a few charity shops down there. Didn't spend very much, which suits me. Bought another one of these cubes. It was all mixed up when I got it and I've sat here and put it right. I'm no expert, I still use a cheat sheet on how to do it. It was 99 pence. In fact, the only reason I bought it was I was going to buy this, which is only 79 pence, and I felt embarrassed only spending 79 pence. So I spotted that and bought that as well. So I spent a whole £1.78. Now this, as you can probably see, wind-up dinosaur kit makes four wind-up dinosaurs. Now we had some fun doing wind-up robots the other day, myself and my grandsons. So I thought they might like this one too. The wind-up robots actually had feet and they walked along, whereas these have just got wheels. But they're still clockwork. Uh, I haven't looked inside yet, so I ought to do that. Just check that we've actually got what it says on the box. Uh, somebody's had a go at them, haven't they? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, I suppose we can still um, put them together, or back together. Looks like they've only done the, done the one. Yeah, there's still some more there to do. So that's not too bad. I mean, come on, 79 pence, and we got three wind-up clockwork units. I could use them to make little cars if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm not too upset about there being one already done. So that's fine. And then in one of the other charity shops, I uh, can't remember which one it was, Cancer Research UK, they were doing an end of season sale. All children's items were two for a pound. So I spotted this one. Three models to create. Priced at one pound fifty, but only cost me fifty pence. Looks like it's only cardboard. You can make a, a snake, a frog, and some flowers. So it's a little diorama thing, isn't it? Another thing to do on a wet and windy day with my grandchildren. So I'll we'll see if that one's in one piece. Oh well, I can see there it's still in the packaging. It's got paint as well. Well, good chance that will be dried out when we come to use it. Never mind. 50 pence, I'm happy with that. And then this, I had to buy it. I'd have been really upset if I'd have paid £2.50 for it, which is what it was originally priced at. But as this was in the 50p sale, or two for a pound sale, I bought it. It's interesting. I don't know about the actual story. I mean... If you're in the UK, you'll know who Bob the Builder is. If you're not in the UK, I don't know if it went abroad or not. He's Bob, and he's a builder. So we've got a little story to go through. And after reading each page, you're supposed to turn the handle. And as you can see... 
that there are actually LEDs that flash. So, waffle, 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 turn the handle. Yeah, lights light up. Next page. Uh, yeah, waffle, 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 turn the handle, power them up. And so on. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, party time. Wind the handle to power up the party. And then finally, Farmer Pickles asks Bob to build him a machine that can make oil from his sunflower seed. Can you help Bob finish it? Yes, you can. And at this point, you're supposed to be adding these two cogs in place. See? To actually come off. Honest. Oh, I can't move that one, but it does come off. So for all the other pages you were just turning this bit and things were lighting up, but on this one there's a little drawer there which is where these cogs were kept. You put that on there and then when you turn it then the wheels turn. So, I just want to take it apart and find out how it works. Because there's nothing about batteries, so I'm guessing we're charging up a capacitor, possibly. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.